And now to our breaking news. A Tarrant County jury tonight found a man guilty for a hit and run accident that seriously injured a 74 year old Arlington man. And before that happened, the judge held the hit and run driver's brother in contempt of court and threw him in jail. Fox Sports' Brandon Cobb was in court this evening as the latest live from Fort Worth. Brandon. Yeah, Steve, there were four counts in all of this. Assault with a deadly weapon, aggravated assault, injury to the elderly, and failure to stop and render aid. The jury in this case deliberated about two hours before returning the verdict. We did you find the defendant Omar Bashir Muhammad guilty of the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon as charged in count one of the indictment? Omar Mohammed hit and critically injured Terry Pinkston in February of last year. Pinkston had a long recovery from his severe injuries, but was able to testify in this case. Today, though, plenty of drama in the courtroom as Mohammed's brother was taken into custody and sent to jail after he was found taking pictures of the jurors, which is a violation of the court. After the verdict, Jim Shaw, Muhammad's attorney, told us he'll accept the jury's decision, but the process has been hard on his client. Yeah, he's been, uh, I mean, hamstrung by this thing for a year. He's been sorrowful. He's been mournful. He's wanted to make amends to the uh, victim. He never could do that. Uh, he's had a monitor on him at the cost of $300 uh, per week. I remember covering this last year. One of the things that really stood out at the time, in addition to the severe injuries uh, to Mr. Pinkston, was the fact that Muhammad uh, was arrested just before he got on a plane to Jordan, and for the first time, uh, his attorney addressed that. Sure, what if he'd have caught a plane to California instead? No, he was a Muslim going to Jordan, fleeing the country, when in fact he didn't know there was a warrant for him. He didn't do anything illegal. Well, we did not have an opportunity to talk with the prosecutor in this case, nor did we have an opportunity to talk with the family of Terry Pinkston. This isn't over, though. The punishment phase of this, Steve, begins in the morning. Okay, Brandon, I have some more questions about this whole uh, contempt of court business with the brother. Uh, I, did, did the jurors know that? I mean, were they, I, I imagine they might be concerned if they even knew about it. Tell us more about how that went down today. Well, in fact, Steve, one of the jurors actually noticed uh, him taking pictures. The juror noticed it, told the bailiff, the bailiff told the judge, and they pretty much stopped everything. He asked him for his, uh, his cell phone. Uh, he didn't want to give that up. Uh, Muhammad's attorney, then defense attorney, jumped in and said, Judge, you can't take his cell phone. The judge said, Yes, I can. This is my court. He took the cell phone, started looking at the pictures. Uh, and at some point, see, they even called up Sharon Wilson, the district attorney, to the court uh, to help hash all of this out. The judge decided uh, he was going to look at the, the, the phone anyway, found pictures that he had taken of the jury, and then uh, took him into custody and charged him with contempt of court. He'll spend two days in jail. Steve. Brandon, it's kind of loud out there. I do have one more question. Did the judge ask him what he planned to do with the pictures? Was there any motive? I mean, what was he up to? Do we know? No, and uh, some of his family members had told me sort of uh, in the hallway that he likes to take pictures. He takes pictures of everything, and, and it was, he was, I guess they painted him as sort of ignorant to the process, not okay. understanding that something like that would not be appropriate. Okay. All right. Brandon Todd, live in Fort Worth. Thanks.